Hey, hello everybody. Frank Sanya here. So, watch. What business are you really in as a real estate agent or a broker? What business are you really in? You know, if you go out today and go talk to a, a, a lot of real estate agents and ask them what business that they are in, Believe me sincerely, it will shock you, it will astonish you what you will hear from them. As a matter of fact, watch, I want to throw you a, a challenge today. I want you, when you go back to your sales meeting, okay, I want you to ask some agents in your office, what business are they in? And it will really, really surprise you what will come out of their mouth. I know real estate agents that are new. You say we can, we can say to, to new agents, maybe they may not know. But what, let me say this to you. I was shocked when I saw agents that have been in the business for 10, 15, 20 years that still did not really know what business that they are in. You know, when you ask them, you know what they'll tell you? I mean, the real estate business. And this is what they think. They think that they are in the, the real estate business. Let me tell you this. You are not in the real estate business. See? Real estate, business, real estate is just what you do. You know the business that you are really in? Watch this. You are in the marketing business without a shadow of a doubt. That's the real business that you are in. You are in the business of what, first and foremost, the business of selling yourself. That's what we do first. And there are agents and brokers that are clueless of this. I am not kidding you. Okay? Well, but before I go on to explain this to you, I'm going to prove it to you first and foremost. I'm going to prove it to you in the natural and I'm going to prove it to you spiritually. Okay? All right? Okay? The people get into this business and they come into this business. They say, I'm going into the, the real estate business because they don't really truly understand the business that they are in. And when they get here, they fail. The turnover in this business, I am not kidding you, is astonishing. And it's because it's the number one reason why people don't know the business that they are in. Okay? But let me say this to you. First and foremost. Okay? Okay? Before you realize that it's a, a real estate business, I'm going to show it to you in the, in the spiritual force. This business called real estate, first and foremost, when I tell you it's a business of calling. Because let me tell you this, if you are not called for this business, you would not succeed in, the, in this business. I know it. This is a business first and foremost of calling. When God calls you, to be in this business, you will succeed. But most people, they don't know. Okay? So let me show it to you first and foremost, biblically. Okay? You, 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 you hear it. Okay? You've heard it. Okay? And if you go to Jeremiah 29, 11, you'll see it there clearly, distinctly. Watch this. Jeremiah said this. He said, For I know the plans I have for you, for I know the plans I have for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plan to prosper you. Plan to prosper you and not harm you. Watch this one. Plans to give you hope and a what? And a future. If you are not called, if God didn't make this plan for you as a real estate agent, you will fail in this business if you are not called into this business. Okay? All right? Okay? So, 
that first and foremost you need to you need to know that one first okay and when you look at agents that are good at this business they are very very good at this business go look at all the top producers in this business they are first and foremost what they are first and foremost marketers that's the first thing you will see about them they know how to sell themselves they do they know how to sell themselves okay they know that this business, first and foremost, it's a business of acquiring buyers and sellers. That's the first thing they know. They get it. Okay? All right? Go see them 10, 20, 40, 50 years in this business. They are phenomenally good at acquiring buyers and sellers. And so, how do they do it? They know how to sell themselves. They know how to package themselves. We call this thing, this thing called marketing which is what it is they then understand that next to that it's a business of what it is a business of what of, of relationship that's what it is okay and how do they do this they acquire knowledge they acquire knowledge you see them they are forever studying they are, they are forever finding what the knowledge of acquiring buyers and sellers and the skill they develop in closing the buyers and the sellers they come across. That's it. Can you do it? You can do it. You see, I often say that it's with knowledge we change our lives. Okay? And there, there are primarily two, two types of knowledge. There's human knowledge and there's the spiritual knowledge. It is spiritual knowledge that makes human knowledge work. That's it. Okay? All right? So, watch this. You don't believe me? So, let's take a look at, and I'm, I'm going to do um, a video more, more intense on this. And it's the first thing I teach in, in my course. And I, I want you to see this quote from some of the brightest minds, okay, on the subject of knowledge. Okay? Because I'm telling you, all right, if you do not acquire the knowledge of acquiring buyers and sellers, you won't last in this business. I guarantee you that. I promise you, it never fails. Watch this one. 20 codes about knowledge. Okay? This comes from teachthought.com. Critical thinking codes about knowledge. Watch this one. The acquisition of knowledge always involves the, the revelation or of ignorance. Ignorance, not to know. Knowledge, to know. Ignorance, not knowing. Watch this. All, almost is the revelation of ignorance. Our knowledge of the world instructs us first of all that the world is greater than our knowledge itself. Okay, watch this one. I like this one. I like it a lot. And you have heard it. Believe me, you have heard it. Watch this. Knowledge is power. Absolutely true. Power provides information. Information leads to education. Education breeds wisdom. Wisdom is what is liberation to be free is to be liberated people are not liberated because of what of lack of knowledge need i say any more need i say any more and you don't want to learn how to acquire buyers and sellers you know let me say this to you if you are struggling right now you don't have buyers you don't have sellers something something tells you something is missing i know it you know what is missing without a shadow of a doubt knowledge and the minute you acquired everything everything changes it is true knowledge is power knowledge is light and this is what we teach here okay i show you how to use God's knowledge, 
the knowledge of God applied to human knowledge. That's what I teach. Okay? All right? Watch this. If you like this video, please subscribe. Okay? Ask questions. Okay? Schedule your appointment. Okay? And let's get you from where you are to where you want to be. Watch this. I thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's a short video. But this message came, came to me this morning. And I, I wanted you to know. Okay? All right? Okay? Watch this. I know this. I know it to be true. I know it mentally. I know it emotionally. I know it spiritually. God wants to prosper you. God is the one that makes us prosperous. God is the one that gives us money. Money belo belongs to God. There is no human being on this planet that can ever, ever make you successful. God is the one that makes us successful. People like me, I'm just a vehicle. That's it. Okay? All right? When I get in jam, you know what, we, you know, know what I do? I, I immediately begin to seek knowledge. That's what I do. Watch this. Everyone Click the link. Schedule uh, your appointment. And God wants to, to prosper you. Everyone Thank you so much. God bless. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend.